Good evening at the news summary. The trial of French national Thomas de Batis, accused of murdering his girlfriend, began this morning at the Supreme Court. The body of the victim was found hanged in their room at the Club Med Hotel on Saint Anne in April last year. The nine members of the jury for the trial were selected and had an antigen test this morning. And this afternoon, the prosecution presented the case. One of the Frenchman lawyers asked the judge to protect the activities recorded on the electronic door lock system of the room. Thomas de Batis is claiming his innocence. It was Emmanuel. She was 32, French and a Catholic, and she died 7,000 kilometers from her home. Whilst on holiday in Seychelles, with her companion street artist Thomas de Batis, known as Otom, Emmanuel Badibanga is found hanged in her hotel room. And it is De Batis himself who sees her hanging from a lamppost at 7 p.m. on the 27th of April. The Frenchman called the emergency services. The police who arrived at the scene initially spoke of a suicide. However, Thomas was arrested several days later, on the 5th of May, and is today on trial for murder in the Supreme Court of Seychelles. There are, however, contradictory positions on this issue. The prosecution represented by Helmut Kumar from the Attorney General's office maintains that Thomas de Batis strangled Emmanuel Badibanga and tried to disguise the murder as a suicide. The position taken by the prosecution is supported by the conclusions of the autopsy carried out here. In addition, the prosecution is relying on a witness who apparently saw the accused fleeing the hotel room around the time of the alleged crime. But there is a difference of 25 minutes in the time frame provided by Thomas de Batis. On the other hand, Defense lawyers say they have all the evidence to prove that Emmanuel Badibanga committed suicide. They believe that their client is a victim of a miscarriage of justice. The defense assertion is supported by a new autopsy carried out in France. It says that there are no traces of strangulation on the body of the victim. Furthermore, they claim that images from the video surveillance system provide an irrefutable alibi for their client. The lawyers of Thomas de Batis want to be confident at the dawn of a trial with an uncertain outcome. Did Emmanuel Badibanga commit suicide? Was she murdered? It will be up to the jury to answer those questions at the end of the trial, which could last throughout the month of February. And uh, still uh, in court cases, the Supreme Court has again extended the custody of the accused in the case of uh, trafficking 142 kilograms of narcotics and human trafficking. They will remain in pretrial detention until the 10th of February. The Chief Justice Ronnie Govinden has instructed uh, prosecutors to finalize and deliver documents to defense attorneys by latest tomorrow. Since the case went to court, two of the five men arrested have been released after reaching a certain agreement with the Attorney General's office. The CEO of the Planning Authority, Angela Sevina, says that the Land Transport Agency had not received the planning approval to start implementing the road widening project at Rochecaima. This follows a story that SBC aired last Sunday following the visit of the Minister of Transport, Anthony Dejac, to the project site. Ms. Sevina says that the Planning Authority only gave the approval for the project this week. At the time that the interview was uh, aired, the project had not been approved yet. It uh, was still under consideration given the fact that uh, there are a few sensitive components of, of the same which uh, were still being uh, assessed and uh, considered. Sensitive uh, things, technical details relating to the project. Personally, I talked to the CEO, uh, SLTA, and requested that they stop all works. Uh, so the contractor has moved off the site, and further to that, uh, we finalized the details, so now they can proceed with the project, uh, but uh, internally, there are uh, discussions and uh, other interaction ongoing to prevent such uh, issues from occurring. What we want is that 100% projects are approved before they are initiated. 
19 people, mainly elderly citizens, have succumbed to COVID-19 during the month of January alone. This statistic was given by the Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Drew Gideon, during this afternoon's press conference. The number of active cases as at yesterday stands at 2,100, with most of the cases on May. However, the Ministry of Health has recorded a drop in the number of cases across all age groups. So far in Seychelles, the cumulative number of cases is almost 38,000. And uh, among those, uh, the number of active cases is 2,100 uh, spread over several islands. We have the majority on Mahi, of course, 1,673. 35 on Prale and uh, Lajig, 76 uh, active cases. On five other islands, we have 16 cases. Uh, the trend of infection, uh, we have uh, been rep uh, noticing a gradual drop in number of uh, cases daily, and the daily rolling average uh, is coming down, and it's, uh, it's now below 200, and we hope that this trend continues. In terms of where we are, we still have the seven day rolling average is still over 100 cases per 100,000 population. So we're still at high transmission level in the country. We have also registered close to 1,000 reinfection in the month of January. And most of this, we can almost confirm that yeah, has been due to the Omicron variant. In terms of the number of people who have passed, um, we sadly regret that we have lost 19 people um, in January. Um, we wish we could have saved all of them, but sometimes the illness overcome, and uh, we are we have been unable to save 19. And uh, we should have prevented these 19 from getting infected in the first place. We now switch it up to some uh, celebratory news. Seychelles Brewery celebrates its golden anniversary this year. The brewery started production in July 1972, and 50 years later, Seybrew and Seypal remains its popular drink brands in the country. To celebrate its 50th anniversary, yesterday the Seychelles Breweries unveiled a logo as one of uh, a series of activities on its calendar until July. They say it is the people who are behind their greatest achievements, which includes the Gold Quality Award for Sapel Ginger Ale by the Quality Institute Maud Selection. It is great to see people who have worked in Seychelles breweries at different points in their own career going on to hold bigger roles in business and in government. I'm constantly reminded of people who speak with pride about their time working in Seychelles breweries. We have quality brands that we've launched over the years, including brands like Sabrew Lager and Save Pearl Soft Drinks. These have all won international quality awards over the years, international quality awards. And we have a wide portfolio across our beer, soft drinks, and spirits business. As a result, there's an SBL brand for every occasion. And this is why I believe we play such a key part in Station Walk culture. Our presence is everywhere. We are present during every moment of celebration and occasion. And a celebration isn't a celebration without an SBL product. And that's it for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 for the Creole News Bulletin. Bye-bye for now.